My name is Engineer Rodrigin Aysar from MSK. Our subject for today is mathematics. Topics, trigonometric graph. We are still in graphs, trigonometric graphs. So first of all, we have to know what is trigonometry. Trigonometry is the basic function that relates the right angle of the angle of a right angle with the, to the ratio of the other length of sides. So under this basic trigonometry, we have basic three different types, which are the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. These are the basic trigonometric functions. And this function further groups into other parts, which are second, then we have cosecant, and then we have cotangent. So generally, we have the sine, the cos, the tan, the sec, and the CSC cosecant, and then we have the cot. So these are trigonometric function generally. But in this class, we will look at the graph of sine and cosine. The sine graph and the cosine graph. However, the tan graph is the ratio of a sine graph and the cosine graph. So when you divide the sine by the cos, you will eventually end up having the tan. So now let's look at the sine. Assume that we have a function x. Let's say f is a function. Or let's say y equals to f of x. Draw the graph of, to draw the graph of y equals to sine x, let's say this is Roman 1 and Roman 2, we have y equals to cos x. Now, just like the type of graphs We've solved previously, we solved simultaneous, which is linear graph, and then the quadratic graph. We can assume the values of x if it is not given. But if the values of x or the angles are given, then we just take the angle and see how we can manipulate the values. Now, let's assume that the values of x, of x, well, let me put it in this in formal way, x is less than O equals to 0 and less than O equals to 360 degree. Since the total angle in a cycle, that is the complete revolution, is 360 degrees. So now, let's assume the value of x ranging from 0 to 360, that is the total revolution. Now, as usual, take the value of x and then let's start with sine x here. And then finally, or let's say here we have cos x. And then here you have y equals to sine x. And then here we have y equals to cos x. I imagine the two table in this, the, the two graph table in the same uh, vein. Now, let's look at this. When x is equal to 0, then 30 degrees, let's take the interval of 30, 30 degrees. We have 60 degrees, then we have 90, then we have 120, then we have 150 degrees, 180 degrees, 210 degrees, 
240 degrees, 270 degrees, 300 degrees, and finally 360 degrees. So these are the angles. We are merging them together in order to have it simplified. So this makes our work easier. So, in this case, the students are expected to be with their calculators because these are uh, angles. And you can't just cram anything without having your calculator. How to find when x is 0, what is sine 0, when x is 30, what is cos 30, and so on. So now, let's start. When x is 0, Sine 0, sine 0 is 0, check, sine 0 is 0, then sine 30, which is 1 over 2, half, sine 30 is 1 over 2, sine 60, which is 0 0.866. Well, let me put this one in decimal. It will be more easier. Then what is sine 90? Let's look at sine 90. Sine 90 is 1. I'm using calculator so that the student will see how to punch the calculator and then to find the values. Now, all these ones are positive. But let's look at this because, it's, because it is above 90 degree. What is sine 120? Sine 120 is 0 0.866. You see, we will be repeating this one here and there. Only the sign that will be changing. Then sine 150, which is 0 0.5. Sine 180, which is 0. So we start from 0. And here at 180, which is half and end in 0. Then sine 210 minus 0 0.5 sine 240 minus 0 0.866 sine 270 minus 1 sine 300 minus 0 0.866 and finally sine 360 which is 0. You also start from 0 here and end with 0. So these are the positive parts and these are the negative parts. So this is the sine values. The same way we find the cosine values. Now when x is 0 here, what is cos 0? Cos 0 is 1. When x is 30, cos 30 is 0 0.866. When x is 60, then cos 60 is 0 0.5. And cos 90 is 0. Because... Cos 90 and sine 90 are inverse. Then next we have cos 120, which is 0 0.866. Then cos 150, cos 120 minus 0 0.5. This is minus 0 0.866 minus 1. Minus 0 0.866 minus 0 0.5 0 0 0.5 and 1. So these are the values of the sine and the cosine of angles.
So we will go for a short break. When we come back, we will continue. Thank you for watching. Welcome back from the short break. Now, as explained earlier, before we go on break, we see how to find the value of sine of angles from 0 to 360 as well as cosine of angle from 0 to 360. Now, let us find the y. Already the y is out. Here, sine x, y is equal to sine x. So, this is 0. This is 0 0.5 is 0 0.866. But since we are drawing the graph, let us make it easier by selecting some values instead of taking all the values. Just like the way we select some values in our previous lesson and take the real values. Here we take 0, then we take 90, then we take 180, and then we take 270 and finally 360 to see. Let's try this and see. So here we have 0, 1, 180, we have 0, 270, we have minus 1, and 360, we have 1. Now, on the part of course, here we have 1, here we have 0, and here we have minus 1, here we have 0, and here we have 1. Interestingly, if you look at the numbers, the numbers are alternating from 0, 1, and minus 1. 0, 1, and minus 1. So now let us draw the graphs. First of all, let us draw the graph of y equals to sine x. And the table here, from the table, we have the highest number is 1, and the lowest number is minus 1. So let's draw it this way. Let's draw it this way. So if this is 0, this is x-axis. As usual and this is y axis and this is minus x and this is minus y so if this is 1 let's assume that this is 0 0.5 1 1.5 and 2 and this is minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, and this 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and, and 2. Then now, when x is 0, that is sine x, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 0, y is 0, that is all of them start from the initial position and when x is 90 degrees when x is 90 degrees y is 1 so let's assume this is 90 instead of these values let's say this is 90 degrees since we are taking 0 90 then 120 180 270, 240, 270, whichever one, and then finally we have 360. So if x is 90, y is what? y is 1. So let's say this is 1 and this is 
minus 1. When x is 90, y is 1, you cross and cycle. Then when x is 180, when x is 180, here, 90, 180, sorry, let's correct this, 180, 270, and 360. So when x is 180, sin x is 0. So 180 and 0. And when x is 270, sin x is minus 1. And this is minus 1 against 270. Cross and cycle. When x is 360, sin x, y equals to sin x, which is equivalent to 0. So you cross here and cycle. So if you look at this, we have a sign curve starting from origin, which is a sinusoidal curve. So this is a curve of y equals to sin x. So if you look at this, we have other values, which are 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 120, 150, 210, 240, and so on. So all their values ranges. From here to here, we assume it is 90. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 90 values. So each and every values have its corresponding y value here. Let's assume we have 45. 45 degree, if here is 45, then use your own ruler to measure from here to here, where it touches the curve, take it back, it will give you the value of sine of that 45 degree. So if you go by this way, you can easily define your sine curve. A sine curve is a curve that starts from origin. It starts from origin, sine zero is one. Sine zero is, sine zero is zero, I mean, sine zero is zero, Sin 90 is 1, sin 180 is 0, sin 270 is minus 1, and sin 360 is 0. This is what we call part of spatial angles. And you see how we can easily deduce the values in the graph. So if it is in a graph paper, you can easily define these ones by their actual values on the graph sheets. Then apart from this, let us now go to cosine curve. Cosine curve, which is almost totally different from the sine curve, and see the relationship. I think, let me wipe up here and draw the cosine curve and combine the two to see their differences. So in the cosine table, let's look at the values and then draw the graph. In the cosine value, this is the cosine values of y. And this is the y axis, while this is minus y axis. Then x still remain the same, which is 30, 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees. So this is the x-axis. Now, when x is 0, that is at 0 degree, which is the starting point, y is cos x, which is 1. So this is 1, and this is minus 1. Since it ranges from 0 to 1, and the least value is minus 1. So, cos x, which is cos 0, is 1. So, here we cross and cycle corresponding to uh, 1 in the y-axis. Now, when x is 90 degrees here, cos 90 is 0. So, cos 90 here is 0 meaning that we did not even use the 30 degrees. Now, when x is 180, when x is 180, then cos 180 is minus 1, and minus 1 
correspond to this place. We cross and cycle. And uh, when x is 270, y is 0 because cos 270 is 0 here. So we have 0 here and this is 270. Finally, when x is 360 degrees, y is 1. So this is the cosine curve. And then we now draw the curve. So this is the curve of cosine value. So this look at the difference between the sine curve and the cosine curve. Thanks for watching.